Hello, I'm Robert Cooper, and welcome to the Desert Classic Dance Sport Championships, and I'm probably with the interview you all want to hear and anticipate most tonight, and that is with Igor and Irina Suvorov, the owners and organizers of this beautiful competition. How are you two doing tonight? Fantastic. Excellent. Very good. Well, you both look so fantastic, so elegant. It's a record-breaking entry for them this year. They have close to 6,000 entries, and they've got to be absolutely fantastically happy about that. Tell me, what type of preparation and how long ago did you start organizing for this particular year? Well, normally competition are organized throughout the year. You know, you do it easy for the uh, first few months and then you go heavy and heavy and uh, the rest, probably six or seven months, it's, it's a hard work. Irina yeah. is working hard. Yeah, I hear that you are really the backbone behind this competition. Well, with a little bit of help people, of different people, but last six months it's been uh, very hard work. Yeah, yeah, we did a lot. <laughs> and how long have you owned the competition? How long has it been the Suvorov competition? This is our six years. Six year, six year. And tell me, what made you decide you want to have a competition to be owners and organizers? Well, we always like dancing ourselves. Yeah, and. Uh, we like to provide a good, uh, uh, no, I should say fantastic atmosphere for the other dancers. Absolutely. Yeah, and uh, we thought that we could do it, and therefore we should organize, we thought. Yeah, so we were lucky enough to get a fantastic venue for this uh, competition, so, and uh, we're absolutely thrilled that uh, this year is our best year, so sometimes it, you know, paid off. Absolutely, absolutely. And a lot of people that I've been speaking to throughout the weekend have talked about this being a destination competition. Obviously, it's a vacation spot for so many people. How can you go wrong with this beautiful hotel, hotel, resort, spa, everything? And I think you've done a wonderful job of bringing a very comfortable and a very elegant competition to the ballroom dance world. Tell me, Irina, when did you get involved with ballroom dancing? Oh, I started to dance when I was six, so with ballroom dancing, I started at 10. Igor is a little bit earlier, so all my life. <laughs> all your life, basically. All okay. my life, never Wonderful. done anything else. Went to university to, uh, to study something else, but uh, couldn't stop dancing. Sounds like me. I got a degree in psychology <laughs> and marketing, and here I am a professional dancer. You never know where you, you end up You never know where that. you end up, that's right. Yeah. So. Okay, the question on everybody's mind, how did you two meet? <laughs> oh, that was easy. That was easy. She saw you and the yeah, rest was history? Yeah, exactly. That's, uh, <laughs> that's the only way. Uh, I was so famous and I say, Irina, would you like to dance with me? And she says, oh, of course. I say, would you like to move to St. Petersburg? Yes, no problem. <laughs> so, yeah, we meet and we were married in two months. Fantastic. It is true. It is true. <laughs> oh, wonderful. True. You saw him and you just had to have him. <laughs> yeah, I just... Yeah, it just happened. She fell in love with me. There you go. Madly. <laughs> Fantastic. Now, I've noticed uh, on your Facebook postings, I've seen some earlier photos of the two of you dancing competitively. When did you actually get together and how long did you compete as amateurs and then professionals? And then you went on to win some fabulous titles. Tell me a little bit about that. Well, we've uh, teamed up when... Um, 1987? Eight, well, yes, end of, end of uh, 87, yes. And, uh, we got married have, in 88? Well, I have moved to Moscow from St. Petersburg and uh, then we did 10 dance. Most of the uh, kids in Russia do 10 dance. Correct, correct. And, uh, well, and we were amateurs. We moved to US in um, 1990, beginning of that year, correct. and uh, we still do lighting then. Uh, we decided to quit lighting when we turned pro, end of 1991. Yeah, end of 1990. Yeah, we've been professionals and we retired 2002. And 2003, we were, no, five, yeah. we organized competition. Wonderful. I just wanted to add a little bit. Uh, we, we kind of had a dream to organize competition which we would love to dance at. Like nice oh, okay. floor, beautiful atmosphere, nice people, nice judges. And me and Igor, uh, we, like ge we love guests, we're good hosts. Oh yeah, you definitely And I think that's, that's what competition is for us. We just love people. We, lo we love when people come to visit us, if they're dancers or spectators or judges, officials. We just love people. <laughs> well, I know the word on the street is definitely that you two are fantastic hosts and very much involved in customer service. People are very comfortable and love coming here. 
the buzz in the ballroom is wonderful because the energy is good, people are happy, and as I said, you know, when you've got a mother and a father here that are taking care of everybody, I mean, how can you go wrong? It's absolutely remarkable being Hope not. here. <laughs> Tell me, what is your most memorable experience or memory of competition as a professional? Oh, our competition together when we competed? Well, of course, it was uh, uh, one competition. We was uh, amateurs, just okay. our first year in America, uh, the USDC. Uh, used to be in Miami. Correct. And that was an uh, unbelievable and unforgettable experience for us. Uh, probably the biggest competition we've ever done. We made both finals as an amateurs. Uh, and then, of course, uh, Blackpool is the one. Yeah, yeah and uh, yeah, we won the Rising Star in 1998 in uh, Blackpool. So, yeah, always good memories. Fantastic. Now, something that maybe the audience doesn't really know about, when you first came to the United States, weren't you making dresses and weren't you making uh, tail, suits. tail suits and that type of thing? Yep. Yeah, they were not good, but uh, <laughs> they were good. They were we'll good. make pretty good living on that. There you go, <laughs> absolutely. It helped us to survive. Absolutely. And who could have imagined back then when you first arrived in the United States that you would be here tonight hosting one of the most prestigious competitions I think in the United States because it's such a fantastic place to be and you've had a record number of entries you've got to be feeling fantastic tonight. Oh absolutely when you were talking about uh, time that we moved to US and in fact uh, we were the first Russian couple who ever moved from Russia to US and when we were live in Russia we didn't know what we're gonna end up with right or maybe uh, well we came with one suitcase yeah, and one suitcase $50. yes yes <laughs> yes we didn't have any unbelievable money. Yeah. <laughs> so we just were happy that uh, we had place to dance and um, a lot of friends immediately so sure yeah, yeah we were very comfortable in this country from day number one well you know I mean you have added such a an elegance and a prestige to the ballroom dance community community here in the United States and that's a really nice thing because I think the international community really meshes well with the US community when it comes to dance it's a very very small world when it comes to the ballroom dance world and that's and true, here yes. tonight we have such a wonderful opportunity and you've brought in Luca and Lorraine tonight oh, to do the so show dance well they are big friends and you know they always do it for us uh, if they can so they absolutely and I believe that's dance. their last show in uh, US ever so this is oh, one uh, of them no no <laughs> the US is the last show oh. so then they go into Japan and they so basically retire in doing the show yeah wow and we're so thrilled to have them as a show demo dem demonstration couple absolutely absolutely now you also have the IDSF competition here and that's a pretty prestigious thing to have at your competition tell I me believe, a little bit about I that. I believe so uh, it's uh, when you run IDSF you always have a good uh, couples uh, performing and uh, that's what uh, actually gets up to having IDSF. Um, to be honest we are we didn't even think about prestigious uh, prestige uh, of the IDSF at our competition we just thought it would help uh, amateur couples to uh, get world ranking and it would let them uh, dance uh, with the other couples from all over the world. Correct. And, uh, Correct. That was the idea, basically. Absolutely. And you know, the the use of the ballroom dance world has taken over the last 10, 15, 20 years is amazing. With more and more young children getting involved, oh, yeah. and you, need to see, you see these teenagers. You are more used to uh, teenagers and young adults dancing, of course, coming from another country. Here in the United States, it's just kind of catching on, I would say, in the last 10 years. So it's really quite a, a show and a privilege for the spectators to come and watch an IDSF event. I think it's really interesting. And a lot of those people, when they get to those upper echelons and they retire from IDSF, go immediately into a ranking in the professional division. So it's really quite exciting. Speaking of young children, I understand that you've got something going on on Sunday here with the little um, kids. Tell me about that. We're so looking forward for tomorrow afternoon. It's going to be just blast. We have kids starting from uh, teddy bear category, which is under seven. Last year we had about 12 uh, kids. 
uh, age between five and six, I guess. They were so cute. Each of them got teddy bear. That's and wonderful. Uh, we have great events. Uh, some of the uh, juniors competitions are three rounds. Oh, so fantastic. we have a big number of kids here tomorrow, uh, tomorrow afternoon. Well, I'm sure you're going to have a lot of uh, parents here coddling their children, getting them ready. I mean, those kids, they get their little shoes on and their little yeah, costumes on. Yeah, and it's really quite exciting. About their kids Absolutely. And we're trying to accommodate them. Well, I can't tell you, as I said, the buzz on the street is everyone's having a great time here. And anybody who's not here tonight or for the weekend is obviously missing a fantastic opportunity to have a vacation and to dance and to be among friends and just have a really good time. You're fabulous hosts, and it's my pleasure to be here with you tonight. So from the ballroom dance community, we'd like to thank Thank you for having your competition. Thank you, Robert. And thank Very you, nice. Robert. And we'll see you next year, everybody. Absolutely. <laughs> Check them out. Thank you.